Just checking to see what you guys want to talk about. Talk about people. We've got people in the house already. Taz is saying hi. Becky is in the house. Tex, Texas Cuddy Trill. Suplex City. Optimus. Vi Vi. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let her rip. We got Houston in the house. We got Moswald Tech. We've got Texas Cuddy. Yes, sir. We got 60 people in the house. Just about to hit the sack. It's time for bed. Thought I'd chat with you guys before heading off to sleep. Sweet dreams, Ken. Thanks, Gibbo. Uh, good night, Own. <laughs> Hello from Brockville. Evening, Ken. That was from Ian. Um, Mr. Johnson is in the house. Um, Matt from Florida. Buenas noches. Uh, ding, da, ding, ding. <laughs> what time is it there? It is 12.20. So just after midnight. How was the cottage? The cottage was good. Uh, Carol's cousin who lives in England was there with her husband and son and we haven't seen them in like two years so uh, we had to go up, up and meet up with them because they're leaving going back to England tomorrow I believe. Where do you live? I live in Ontario, Canada. It's the same time in Georgia. Yeah, we're on that same time zone. I'm going to work. Oh no. Why the late night, Ken? Um, I don't know. Hey, Ken, it's Jordy from Facebook. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we stand on ground for the Toronto. I live north of Toronto, south of Barrie. Do you watch TV as a fall? As a, oh, as you fall asleep? Uh, not no. I know what I like falling asleep was when Carol, because we have a TV in the room, Carol will fall asleep, or sorry, watch TV, and I'll come in knowing that she's watching TV, and that will help me go to sleep, and that way she'll shut it off. How did you meet Carol? Carol and I met uh, at a local bar near our homes back in 1990. How long have you done food reviews? And when did you start? On my channel, there's a video called um, Tim Horton's Breakfast Sandwich, and that was my first food review. And I don't know when it actually went up. I think it was 2011. Uh, I don't know what clite she but cute it means. And Timothy asks, you should have done a Dunkin' Donuts food review in the U.S. Uh, there's only so much time I had to do, and it seems that the Chick of Flay is uh, was a good choice because it's probably going to hit twenty thousand views by one o'clock, which is absolutely amazing. And there's all this controversy behind it, and and uh, the way I look at it, it's just a, it's just a restaurant that has food, and I did a review on it. I'm not like buying stocks in it. Do you have a health issues at all from the fast food? No. Because I don't eat fast food all the time. Just because i got a bunch of videos of me eating fast food. Doesn't mean I eat like that every day, all day long. I uh, love the Chick-fil-A video and now I'm craving it. <laughs> yeah, everybody. It just so happened I put it up on a Sunday when they're closed, which is really funny. I had a lot of comments. Uh, what's the next collaboration for you, Ken? I'm collaborating with um, two gentlemen from the United States. They're coming up to Canada. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's a secret. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should say anything yet. But they're coming up here on the 23rd, I believe. The, oh, yeah, I'll tell you. It's the Crude Brothers. So it's a dad and son. Uh, and they want to they wanna do... Is, uh, is Ninja around? Yes, he is. He doesn't usually come into the bedroom because this is kind of Sam's domain. And Sam's made it very clear. Joey's World Tour... Uh, thanks for the Sunday video. No problem. I'm gonna put another one out tomorrow. Airport food. Love the cookie dough review or video. Yeah, it was a fun one to do. <laughs> I like the people that say you should get Dad of the Year awards. 
do you have do you have kids? Yes, I have a eight, 19 year, or 18 year old daughter and 15 year old son. Ben has his own periscope and his periscope is Ben underscore Domic. Ken is the man and Ninja is the cat. <laughs> is Ben at work? No, he he did a periscope earlier on today. And but for some reason his front camera when he uses that his microphone doesn't work. So we're trying to uh he's trying to figure that out. So when he does his periscopes right now, he has to turn the camera around and he can't read your question questions when he has the camera around. You'd be a cool dad. Yeah, to a point. <laughs> this it's not all fun and food, people. I still have to be a dad to my kids. Wait, when's your daughter's birthday? Uh January. Sup, KBD. That was from Game Somebody. Uh, oh boy, things are disappearing. He knows what's in the Wendy's chili. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, do you get paid from YouTube? Yes, this is my full-time gig. Do you have a Penn Station sub? Uh, I don't know about that. Go to Whataburger... Uh, what? Walt Burger? Wall Burgers? In Toronto? She's a few months older than me. Cool. Uh, what phone do you have? I'm using the iPhone 5. Yes. No, iPhone 6, right? Because it was a five phone, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Right? Am I right? Yeah, I think I'm right. Uh, I should come to, you know, you should come to Maine and try the seafood definitely someday. Um, it's almost, oh my gosh, I got 20% power. This is bull. Bull, I tell you. Yeah, Mark, Wal Mark Wahlberg's brother owns it. Oh, okay. Yes, you're right. Uh, I would imagine you do a lot of work for us. Thanks. Well, you're welcome, Wilson. Uh, love the Chick-fil-A review. Thank you. Dizzy Brad says, from Windsor, Ontario, and it missed. Uh, what's, uh, what are you going to... When are you going to do a meet and greet? Uh, I don't know. When I have time, maybe... Uh, the connection keeps freezing. It should be fine. It's on your end. Because it's fine here. You should do a periscope with Furious Pete. I'm just moving over here because I might be able to grab a wire. Oh. Do do do. Moving around the room. Trying to find a cable so we don't go out of power. Do do do. Just give me a second, people. I don't want to have my camera come on dude see what's going on hey hey okay come on you can do it it's just a plug Ken all right so we'll do the whole um, fan in the background there we go we got power uh, do you fan mail I'm not sure what that means are you going are you doing any more of the food oh do you do fan mail yeah if you want to send me fan mail I usually do uh, that stuff on my vlog channel just in case you don't know I have a vlog channel it's called Domic 1966 or if you just do a Google Google search for Ken Domic you'll find my vlog channel I also have links on my big channel to my vlog channel how much would you weigh just a question uh, I gained about two I maybe a few months ago I was 216 now I'm 222 so uh, I'm not eating as much right now. Uh, when is the next time you will edit? Tomorrow morning, every morning I eat, edit, I edit. Ken, how much? How about a review on sushi? I'm working on it. Uh, I like how you actually respond to, uh, and other YouTubers don't. Well, thank you. Well, you guys made me, so you only you deserve it. How old are you? I'm 49. Hey, Ken, and that was from Mr. Shadow. Uh, Chris says, are you a fan of Matt Santoro? Yes, I am. Hey, from Ontario, can you make a review of the most American thick burger? <laughs> Look at those hearts pounding in. Nice. Do you still ha do you still go cycling? Yes. Uh, favorite YouTuber currently? Um, I don't necessarily have a favorite YouTuber. I have a lot of YouTubers that I follow. And they're all the foodie people and, and um, uh, challenge people hey do you you should do another food challenge 
Uh, the next food challenge I'm doing, uh, a guy named Simon sent me $200 to donate to the food bank. Basically, he was saying he's going to give me $2 for every chicken nugget I eat, up to 100 chicken nuggets. So I have to go and buy, and I'm, I'm thinking it might happen for Tuesday. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I also, because he was so generous with his donation, I'm going to double it. So we're going to be giving $400 to the Berry Food Bank, which is a charity where people bring food in on donations and, and uh, help people who are having problems with money. Uh, you should collab with LA Beast. Definitely. Popeye's Cajun Rice. Can you do... Uh, can you do a review on the Cheddar Ribs amazing restaurant? Uh, have you had the chicken and dumplings from Cracker Barrel? Yes, I have. Have you said hi to Lily? Lily, she said, oh. I'm just waiting for the questions to come around again. Sometimes, just before you send the, the question, copy it so just in case I miss it, you can do it again. How is the pet snake? It's good. What's your favorite food place? Uh, favorite, I guess right now it's kind of Boston Pizza. Like, if we go out, I like going to Boston Pizza. Um, Michael says, when uh, when will you do a snack review from the mail? Yeah, I've got two or three that I have to do still. And again, I've been telling people not to send me stuff because um, food bank donations anymore? Well, I just told you we're going to be doing a $400 one, which is good. Uh, come to Calgary. I've been to Calgary. I don't want to go back. Just kidding. Uh, what kind of snake do you have? We have a ball python. Hi from Puerto Rico. Do you ever intend to get another dog? Uh, only when this one passes. Uh, and hopefully it's a long time from now. Um, do you review Taco Bell? Double, uh, the Taco Bell thing is not in Canada. We have Taco Bells, but we don't get what you guys get sometimes. LOR, are you ignoring my question? No. Well, I... Like I said, so many questions come in that I can't read them all. You do? Yeah. Because you're watching TV. It's what? Oh. They can't see anything. Yeah. Hi from Maine. Uh, hey, Ken. Did you hear your... Uh, have you ever watched Joseph and Technicolor Dreamcoat? Yes. Uh, do you go fishing, hunting, or in Canada? Just fishing. Uh oh, uh, I watched your video today and was up when I check a flick. What? Uh, did you have a good barbecue? Ah! Uh, oh my goodness, we need a Kickstarter to Reggie Reg get back on the road. What's your favorite TV show? Um, MythBusters. What is a f Tim Hortons? Don't oh. Do you like caviar? Yes. Slow down, guys. You can't read it fast enough. Night, dude. Okay, night. Uh, favorite sport? Um, I guess football. If I was to get free tickets to any, any game I wanted to see, I'd probably pick football over anything else. Okay. Just, okay. <laughs> okay, say this to Ben. Hey, Ben, do you like Wendy's? Yes, Wendy's nuts. You're what? Hey, Ken, did you hear about response to the... Co oh, my gosh. I wanted to review a chicken flick. Oh, oh, boy. I don't know why. I, I wish I would stay. Get to bed. That's gotten in trouble. Uh, please say hi to Lily. Hi, Lily. Guy, slow down for him to read the questions. <laughs> See, I got that one. That's funny. Do you know who... Fuzzy tube. Nope. Come to Denver someday. Have a good night, Ken. Thank you very much, Chris. We're down to 44 people. As it slows down to less and less people, we will hang up. But if you want to keep going, go ahead. How many vids did you do before you started seeing income? Uh, it's not how many videos you do, it's how many views you get in a month. And basically, as soon as I started getting over a million views per month. That's when I started getting pretty much a good, decent income. Peace out, Ken. Uh, Suplex City says, this connection keeps freezing, Ken. It's not me, man, it's you. Is it hard? I don't know. Yeah, YouTube is definitely not an easy job. 
when is the next time you will be in New York City? I don't know. I'd love to go back. Come to Mexico, definitely. Uh, you look like the guys from Mythbusters. Yes, I do. I look like a, a, a kind of a crossbreed between them both. Adam and uh, the other guy. Do you watch UFC? Uh, when it's on, I watch it. Like I don't. Again, I don't go out of my way to look for these things. But uh, if it's on TV and I'm in a bar, I'll watch it. Like, that's captivating, and it's like uh, more like Walter White, though. Yes, Jamie. Nice favorite vacation spot. When will you do your next trip? Uh, next trip is to Lafayette, um, Louisiana in September. And then in September, also, I'm going rock climbing with the boys. Yeah, Adam Heisenberg. <laughs> Adam Heisenberg. <laughs> uh, yes. Start a food review podcast. That would be cool, eh? Uh, good night. Love talking to you, Ken. Thanks, Soar. Uh, hey, Ken. Hoop. Come to... Come to Vlogger Fail Fair in Seattle. That'd be cool, eh? Crawfish? Uh, I wish I got some crawfish when I was down there. Uh, I might do it this time when I go down in September. Uh, Kickstarter for Around the World Candomic Travel Blog. See, I, I wouldn't... You know what I'd love instead of asking you guys for money is I'd love to get a sponsor to pay for it so you guys can just sit back and watch these things. I've kind of learned from the past that asking money from subscribers is not a good thing. Uh, go Cowboys. What a bugger. What a bugger. Or In and Out. Eee. That's tough, man. I'm thinking In and Out at this point in time. If they were standing right beside by side, I'd think I'd go to In and Out. Uh, when's the last time you were at Wonderland? I guess it's two years ago. We bought passes for the whole year last year, and I didn't go once. So I didn't buy passes this year. Ken, love the travel logs. Well, thank you very much, HV. Cameron says, Ken, what? Ken, was it awkward in GameCon doing the review? A little bit. It was a little year out of your element, but Damon and I pulled it off. Ever come to Chicago again? Yes, I will. I love Chicago. It's a great city. Uh, I think the next time I come, I have to bring Carol. Uh sponsorships from from restaurants I think would be the worst way to go uh, because people think that just because a restaurant pays me to go and do a gig that they think that I'm not telling the truth so I might be eating something I don't like and I say oh that's a go out and get it now but that's not the case so the best thing for me to do is to get uh, weird audio skipping now hmm the best thing for me to do is to get a sponsor like Pepsi or Coca-Cola or like a drink um, and then that way the food it won't be interrupted it won't be yeah it's it's I think that's the best way or even a car company uh, you know sponsored by Ford or something you know just like television shows it has nothing to do with the show it just is the sponsor what what are you sponsored in nobody sponsored me right now uh, escargot serve raw with no season or pickles take your pick uh, ours. <laughs> uh, I think I do go raw raw escargot can you get a sponsor and just don't tell the audience that's I, you know what if I get caught doing that then then people would just brutally attack me so it's best not to lie about stuff like that plus you can't it's against the YouTube rules Thanks for all you do. Good night. See you, Wilson. Uh, was GameCon fun? Seemed like a little kiddish. Um, yeah, it was cool. And and again, when when we we're when Dame and I were doing that one panel, there was a couple of YouTubers that were just kind of OCD and or what's it called uh, hyper. And so, but Dame and I were kind of like the adults. Hey, Jen. Not sure who Jen is. Do you play video games? Yes. What about VidCon? Uh, I love VidCon. It was amazing. Have you ever had fried pickles? Yes, I have a video called Harvey's Deep Fried Pickles. You should check it out. It's disgusting. Ha ha. The 1am hunger lol is coming in half hour. Right, yeah. Uh, have you ever had chicken fried steak? No. Kent's pickle pickles or cucumbers? Ooh. 
I don't know. That's a tough one. I think I'd go pickle. I can. Sorry, autocorrect. Oh, okay. Have you always hated pickles? Yes. Do you have faux in Canada? Yes. Uh, best thing ate in vacation. I think mahi mahi is one of my favorite things, which is a fish. Um, I like pickles, but not fried pickles. Can you do a 300, 3 a.m. hunger in the next video? I'll try to remember. I try to kind of get the whole gamut of uh, night people. I hate pickled pickles, onions. Yeah, the onion, the little onion things, they're not, they're okay to have once in a while, but I don't go again out of my way to buy them. Most important tip to promote a YouTube channel, do what I'm doing right now. Talk to your audience, listen to your subscribers. Worst thing you ate on vacation? I don't know, it was probably something that was burnt. I also ate, hate pickles. Good. Ken, do you do a faux review? Someday. Uh, did you have any barbecues while in Texas? Nope, we didn't have time. Can do you do full review? Yes, someday. All right, guys, we're down to uh, like 37 followers right now. And, um, oh, we got more questions. Uh, I do soccer vids. Any tips on getting my channel noticed? Um, some people, sometimes it's a good idea to, um, make your video and then send it to Ignite Texas Cuddy. Uh, send your videos to companies that do, that have websites on soccer. So, cause they might feature it and then, then you're golden, right? Then people start watching them. How do, how do I talk to women? Uh, start with hi. My name is, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, I like lots of kinds of music from rock and roll to reggae to the new stuff that's coming out that you kids like. Uh, cool. Thanks, Ken. Uh, tell Carol goodnight for us. I will. All right, guys. I'm going to hang up now. Uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Uh, again, if you want to listen to any of Ben's, um, he did he did his first or second uh, Periscope tonight. And he's talking about his snake, his ball python. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for all the hearts. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay? Bye.